Hey folks, so I checked out the new flood map uh, web app and I was going to do a video today on the tsunamis and which areas are going to get flooded, but this story about Earth's changing core rotation and the right now nature of it spreading around the internet uh, requires some clarification because things are getting out of hand. I'll do the flood maps thing tomorrow afternoon. So. What I'm seeing in some articles and some social media accounts is the core has stopped rotating. There's one that says the core has started spinning the other way. No, no, that's not correct at all. That's not what the paper says. That's not what the data says. It is literally, this is how bad science is communicated to the world these days. Um, to be clear, there was already a definite argument about this within the scientific community. Some scientists thought that there was a permanent super rotation to the core, meaning that the core spun faster than the mantle and the crust. It was the fastest spinning part. Some thought that it was a transient thing, that sometimes the core spun faster and sometimes it spun a little slower. Sometimes it spun the exact same speed. There were some others yet still who believed that all those little distinctions were just mistakes based on subtle changes at the core mantle boundary. So here, um, what they're actually saying is that the super rotation, which some had identified, stopped about 14 years ago in 2009. This is something we have seen in other papers recently. Those who really keep up with stuff might remember that. I do not know why there is such a fever about this story right now when nobody seemed to care when they reported this a couple of times in the past year and a half. But essentially what you need to know is no, the core did not stop spinning. No, the core did not start spinning the other way. It just stopped spinning faster than the mantle according to this data set and according to this paradigm under which these scientists operate. And again, some disagree. Now, what does this actually mean? Nothing for the magnetic field and nothing for the pole shift. Those are still tracking along. Those are still every bit as scary and as dangerous for our future as we may have thought. It might affect the rate of change in the length of day, uh, but that is yet to be seen. One of the important takeaways here is to recognize this is why it's critical to read the papers. Absolutely critical to read the papers. There are too many people who are literally just glancing through third-party articles, which are not very good, and then writing articles of their own or posting things on social media, and they don't know what they're doing. For anybody who happens to be watching this, who happens to be one of the purveyors of that incorrect information on social media or on articles, if you're not reading the papers, stop doing what you're doing. You don't know what you're doing. You don't have a clue what you're doing. You're bad at this. You're bad at this. Read the papers, read what they actually say. And for those who saw the morning news, you know that I linked the actual paper and I linked the article in Nature. I found one of the, the articles that actually does get it right in what they're talking about. But essentially, this is really interesting. I mean, interesting enough to be today's top story in the morning show. Does this actually tell us anything about the ongoing magnetic excursion, the magnetic pole shift, the weakening of the magnetic field? No. I, I will tell you they're still ongoing. They're still very scary. This is still a very important topic, but no, that's not what this is. And that's not what the actual data or the actual paper is saying. So this is why it's key to not just look at some news article or some third party article and get excited about it. If you're not reading the papers, you have no idea what's actually going on. Or if you don't listen to somebody who actually reads the papers, you don't have any idea what's going on. Anyway, I will see you in the morning for The Daily Show and tomorrow afternoon for the flood maps where hopefully the thousands of questions I get every day about is my area going to be flooded can just all be answered in one little video. But I'll see you tomorrow. Be safe, everyone.